Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back to my channel, I Heart Stitching. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly crafty and fun videos. And today I'm gonna show you how I made this giant design board behind me. But first, do you guys like my shirt? Super cute shirt, one of my new favorites from Patchwork Threads. And if you wanna win one, hang out till the end of the video and I'll show you how to enter the giveaway. So big design boards are really great for artists, sewists, quilters, uh, graphic designers, it's a really great thing to have in your studio space because you can put your work up on the board and be able to stand back and see what it's going to look like from a distance. So for example, here is a big quilt block that I'm working on and I made some adjustments based on how it looked from farther away. I realized one of the colors wasn't quite right, so I made some changes and I would not necessarily have been able to figure that out if I couldn't put it up on a design board like this one. Now this is made out of foam insulation, so you can stick pins in it, which will make it great for artists uh, or graphic designers, things of that nature. And I covered mine in flannel. So the cool thing about it is you can stick your little pieces when you're sewing quilts together or little projects, and you can just go ahead and stick it right onto the flannel board and it'll stay. You can cover your boards with flannel or with batting. Flannel is just a little bit more economical, but you can see that it just kind of stays up there and you can kind of work on your layout and make sure it's exactly how you want it. So let's get going. I'm going to show you all the steps on how I made it. Okay, here is my one inch foam insulation board that I bought at Lowe's. It was about $11 a sheet and I bought two. This is the side that was easier for me to remove, the insulation side. Now I'm just using a 90 degree angle and a nice long ruler to get a nice clean cut. As you can see, my edges were uneven because when I went to the store, um, Obviously these wouldn't fit in my little Honda CRV, so my friend with her Tahoe, with her Tahoe came and rescued me, um, but I had to have a box cutter with me so that I could kind of cut the ends off in order to bring it home. So keep that in mind if you go to the store and buy one of these big sheets. Now obviously before you cut this nice straight line, protect your floors or your surface and this would be the best way to get a nice clean cut. Once you score it pretty well, it'll just snap right in half, you'll get a nice clean edge. Now I taped my two sheets together because I want to be able to fold it in half. You'll see me demonstrate that a little bit later in the video, but I used just some tape to connect the two large sheets together. And when you get to the end, um, don't wrap the tape all the way around because again, you want it to be able to fold in half. That way it'll make it much more portable. Now I bought six yards of flannel. Just go ahead and make a nice seam in there. If you get the 44 inch length like I did or the width, um, you can get it online where it's nice and big and you won't have to put a seam in there at all. That will be probably the most ideal. But then you want to iron your seam open so that you don't have as much of a noticeable line. I use six yards for mine, but you'll need to calculate the measurements for however big you decide to make your design board. Now the next part is just lots of smoothing and smoothing and smoothing and more smoothing to get all the wrinkles out and get this nice and positioned on these giant styrofoam boards. The great thing about them is they're very lightweight, so they're easy to move around. They're just a little bit awkward, um, but very lightweight. Now I'm just smoothing all my edges out and I'm going to attach the flannel by pinning with straight pins um, onto the back. So just smooth, more smoothing. <laughs> Here's those straight pins. I don't particularly like these straight pins, so I don't mind using a whole bunch of them for the back. And I'm just gonna wrap it around and stick my straight pin in. I had to stick mine in at an angle because they were a little bit long and I didn't want any sharp edges pointing through. So as you go, just smooth it out, starting in the middle and going to the outside edges. That way it'll give you a nice clean look. You can also use batting for this. I just picked flannel because it was a little bit more economical. I had a coupon for Joann's Fabrics and so it made it you know, pretty affordable for me to make this big design board. About $30 total with the two boards and the fabric. And here's my back of my board, just so that you can kind of see what it looks like. So just to give you a quick idea of my studio space, this is my design board and my sewing table. Over on the right side, there's some thread and some other things over there. Um, and then this cabinet over here has all of my fabric and things like that. So this whole wall is kind of my design studio um, in the dining room. So I kind of have, you know, a little corridor here 
with all my stuff. But this design wall has been a great addition and I'm so happy to have it. Okay, really quickly, I wanted to show you how this could fold in half, like I mentioned before, with the tape being on the one side. So that's how it works. So hopefully that inspires you to be creative and get some of your work up on the wall so you can really get a good idea of what it looks like. Now for the giveaway. Patchwork Threads is a really great company, just started in March. I've been following them on Instagram for a while now. It's a husband and wife team, and they have been making these really fun shirts. I'll pop up some pictures. Um, this one is my favorite. Um, really great quality American apparel, so it's made in the USA, which is awesome. And if you wanna win one, head on over to patchworkthreads.com and let me know in the comment section below what your favorite shirt is. International entries are welcome. I will pick one winner in one week and connect you with Lindsay and she will get you your shirt. So thanks so much to Patchwork Threads for sponsoring this giveaway. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Bye.